the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Abubakar Sad III, has said the myriad of challenges, especially economic hardship facing Nigeria, are due to Nigeria's sinful ways and deviation from God's pious path. Okay. <laughs> They are beginning to use all these uh, religious leaders. So, Adibo is coming to tell us that uh, the governors, the government has done, or the politicians have done their best, that the whole thing is spiritual, that they should pray. This one is coming out, you know, oh, ha. somebody say, oh, ha. in full force, to say, because of your sin, that is why you are going through this whole thing you are going through. Mm. The venerable monarch, uh, the venerable. Uh, monarch asserted that the best way to overcome the biting hardship Nigerians are grappling with is to return to God in prayers and show social vices. Uh, hey, yeah. They are speaking in the same language, in the same voice. The Sultan made the assertion at the grand opening of a Juma mosque in Gusapi, Abuja, built by the Jamatu Izalati Bida. Uh, this man has been, was saying the same, some different thing last week, but this week he's saying another thing. He said, if anyone departs from the worship of God, definitely God will not look on his side. This is evident in many places in the Holy Quran. We will continue to give genuine advice to the government, he said. Represented by a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Alaji Yayali Ahmed, the Sultan said, everyone knows the situation in Nigeria right now, but the solution is to go back to seek divine intervention and prayers. However, we should not supplicate for eye service, but for genuine supplication, because the Lord has said that after hardship, there is relief. Okay, so if there is relief, then why are you blaming it on people? For his part, the chairman of the Council of School of Egyptians, Sheikh Sani Yaya Jinga, admonished Nigerian judges to eschew corruption. He also enjoined other public officers office holders to be fruitful or truthful and transparent in running the affairs of their office those who grace the event are the vice president kashim shetima chief of staff to the president femi bajabia miller the national security advisor malamnu ribadu former minister of communications and digital economy isa ali pantami former governor senator senators among others you see all these people that were there they will never tell them the truth Yes, they will never, never tell them the truth. The same way Adeboye went to Kaduna. Of course, dignitaries were, dignitaries were there. Even if you don't know other dignitaries, at least the governor of the state was there. So they will try to, to praise them to high heavens, try to take the fault or the blame back to the people. That is exactly what they do. And in this case of this sort of, see all the dignitaries that were there. No, they will not even blame them. Mm -mm, leave them. Mm -mm. It's not their fault. It is your fault. Now then they suffer soft, uh, soft ship or hardship. They that impose Tinubu on Nigerians, I have taken my coffee this morning with digestive biscuits. How my uh how many of them don't even take lips with without sugar this morning? Now all the live for this country. It is easier for those occupying offices they feed luxuriously from the common wealth of the Nigerian nation. To turn around in periods of hard times to blame, insult and abuse the intelligence of the Nigerian people for being unfortunate not to realize they are subjected to poverty by the forces governing them without regards for their livelihood, except bonding them to religion and ethnicity as succor for their deliverance from suffering while their leaders luxuriate with state funds. How should we blame ourselves? Why we are not that nothing and we are under one's control. We that we have voted for them and followed their manifestos. If we know that their manifesto is like that, the people could not vote at all. Just like uh, some people are saying that hey, oh, be an article did not say join together this and this and that. All those stories. You know, before they used to say people don't people never came out to vote. Uh, they will sit down at home. Ah, uh, don't worry. Your vote will count. Stop saying your vote will not count. But unfortunately, people came out. At the end of the day, what happened? They deprived the people from voting. Even where they voted, they did not count their votes. So the excuse of people not coming out is not even there. If people had not come out in the last general elections, 
the way they came out, people they would have said, Oh, you people did not come out. If you had come out, eh, this thing wouldn't have been there. So from the way from the look of things, whether Atiku Abu Bakar, whether it be all of them joined together, whether the old Nigerian all the Nigerians vote out this say they don't want to vote for this uh, APC, they will still find their way into the into the office. That is a given because the way they have strategized everything, that is what is giving them confidence. Do you know what they will do? When it is time for election, they will not begin to throw small, small corn for people who are hungry. They will just embrace it. They will just forget it. They say, I don't worry. Uh, four years is not enough for somebody to do the needful. Uh, the country had been destroyed before by Buhari. Of course, all of them were not saying anything then. No? When Buhari was there, they were telling us, oh, because Buhari is a full animal, and that is why they are against him. They will begin to look for excuses here and there. And before you know it, they will do what they have to do. I don't know where the unfortunate thing is that all the parastatas, all the government agencies are under the control of the president. So if everybody comes out and say they want to remove them, they will not even do that. So this is no matter of, uh, oh, because you did not vote or you voted. And you can imagine what uh, this sultan is saying that uh, Nigerians are suffering due to their, their sin, that they need to go back to God. You know, this, this whole thing, you know that when people tell you that uh, the problem we have in this country, you know, the people who are causing this problem are religious leaders than the politicians. Just uh, some days back, Adeboye went to Kaduna, like I told you. He's telling Nigerians that it is not the fault of the politicians, that the politicians have done their best, that Nigerians need, Nigerians need to pray. Now, today, this man is saying another thing, Sultan of Sokoto. It's like they're going to read it. And a lot of God people will be listening to all this trash. They are taking the blame back to the people. So that is the tactics they are using now. They will be meeting all these uh, top religious leaders so that they will be telling their followers that uh, it is not uh, the government fault. It is the devil. It is this. It is what you have not done. Taking the blame back to the people. Like I said, in this uh, program or this event they organize, you hear the dignitaries that were there, but they are taking the blame. They will not tell all of them that they are the fault of this of this whole problem, but they are taking the problem back to the people. It's just unfortunate. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this, whether the hardship Nigerians are going through is as a result of the sins that they've committed. They need to go back to the drawing book. They need to go back to God and turn away from their evil way. So things will be okay. Leave your comment there and let's know what you think.